It's been a while since I shared a list of favourites and in the past few months I've discovered new things, I've sort of rediscovered some of my older items and I've been really really enjoying that. There is one fail in this video as well. I'm gonna say it's a fail because of the price but generally I think people may like it but I'm not a fan but I'll talk about that at the end. So I have a variety of things, I've got some makeup stuff that I want to share. I do have like some clips, I'll put it in so they can see how it's worn. I have some clothing, a couple of luxury items and a few things for my Nato, which is definitely her favorite. She's looking at me over there. So let's get started. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kat. I love to do luxury related videos, makeup, skincare. I love them all. So if you enjoy the kind of content, I do hope you will subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. Otherwise, for everyone else, welcome back and yeah, let's get started with these favorites. This is from Chanel, the Le Beige Healthy Winter Glow Primer and I got the color in Icy Beige. I heard that this is a new launch. I don't know if it's limited edition or not. I recently picked it up. I also did a video with some of my Chanel items and I have been enjoying it. I'm actually wearing it under my foundation today. And there is something about this glow that it gives me. It's not overpowering. There's no glitter that's coming out. It's just a very healthy shine, which is actually showing up quite through the camera. This little bit of glow on my skin that does not make me look greasy. I'm not a primer person. I just like to go in with my foundation. But I do find that it does add a little bit of moisturizing effect on my skin because my skin's quite dry lately. I do attribute the dryness to the fact that I've been turning on the aircon every night and not drinking enough water. So my skin is dehydrated, it's really parched. So when I go straight in with foundation, it kind of feels like it's dragging on my skin. But ever since I got this and started to use this, obviously with my moisturizer, I find that there is a little bit of added moisturizing effect on my skin. So yeah, I've been enjoying this. This is the uh, Healthy Window Glow Primer. You don't need to get this one, but I do like I do like Chanel stuff. The only thing that I want to mention before I let you off in this item is there is a bit of fragrance to it. So if you're not into fragrance, you may not like this, but it's not offensive. It's quite light and it goes away quite quickly. Foundation. So I also did a video on this. I kind of like pulled out a few of my Westman Atelier items. And yes, I have two. Is it one? Two? Yeah, two, three Westman Atelier favorites right now. I'm going to talk about it, but wow. This foundation, I forgot how much I love it. I put it aside because I'm trying other makeup items and I'm just playing around with my other makeup, so I kind of forgot about this. But this is what I've got on my skin. It is such a creamy, absolutely easygoing, and so convenient foundation. When I took it out from my stash of makeup, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I straight away put it into my makeup bag and I have been using it every time I need a quick touch up. What I think I like about it is that I could use my fingers to blend it out and it still gives a very even blend. And then it also works as a concealer. So I don't know, for some reason, a lot of people have been saying to me, you look really tired, you look really tired. And I think it's because ever since I hit my 40s or my late 30s to 40s, eye bags have really, really started to pop out. So in the morning, my eyes retain quite a bit of water and then it's a little greenish. So I look kind of puffy in the morning. But yeah, just well, obviously it'll go away after a while. But then, you know, the greenness under my eyes will really show people say I look tired. So what I like about this is that on top of being a foundation, it also acts as a bit of a concealer. This is the Baby Cheeks blush in petal. So the one that I use very very often is Chouchette but what I've got on my cheeks is petal which is a bit more pinky, very similar to the foundation. So easy, so so easy to use. It just dab it on my skin, use my fingers, use a brush. I really like using this brush from Sonia G. This is the mini base brush. In the video that I talked about some of the Westman Atelier things, I didn't use this brush because it was dirty. But now that I've got it back and I kind of cleaned it, I just like to use it to touch up, then use my fingers to blend a little bit more and go back. So between the fingers and this brush, it's really good. But what this brush does, and also a favorite this month, and at least, at least right now, is the Super Loaded Tinted Highlighter in Podapesh. I do have that on my cheeks. I took a little bit of it on this brush. Let me just show you. 
like this. I just dab it and then just dab it on my skin right here and it gives me this very very healthy glow. And of course it has a bit of color so this almost like a bronzy peach tone to it. It doesn't give you like brownness here or an orangeness here. It's just because it has a bit of that tone so it does darken up the tops a little bit but it's very 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 subtle so it just adds a bit more oomph to your blush. So that's what I've been enjoying. I've been topping this up on my blushes ever since I took it out. This is the new eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow quad. This is the Le Ombre, what is it? Le Ombre, the 388 Eclat de Nuit, 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 yeah. So it's this four gorgeous colors and that's what I've got on my eyes today. Wow, I love this palette so much. It This black looks very intimidating, but if you look at the cutaway, I think you can get such a soft, smoky look from this and just blend it out really nicely at the corner. I just use a pencil brush to buff it out. If you don't want to use the black, you just use the rest of the colors. You can get such an everyday work appropriate going out for just, you know, just want some color on your eyes. So versatile and yeah, I absolutely love this. I heard it's limited edition. I'm not sure. So you probably need to go and check on your Chanel website or your Chanel store. If you're looking for a very, very foolproof palette that it's, you know, that you can shift from day to night, I think this is a good one. Uh, cool tones are in. So yeah, this has a very cool brown, very soft, and then this sort of like a slightly more shimmery, um, I think it's like a, got a bit of a peach to it. And then this green shimmer color, which is silvery green with gold as well and then this black here which is not a true black it's it looks like it's almost got a bit of blue and gray to it but it's really really pretty and yeah that's what i've got on my eyes today so yeah definitely a favorite i've been trying to use other palettes but this one has been the one that i keep picking up and then finally oh, what's on my lip so this is making me want to use red lip more but man, this is so good. In the video, I was a little unsure about it, but oh my gosh, I have been using it. So that is the Westman Atelier Lip Suede in La Rouge. So she has a few of these. I know she has the nudes and she has the reds. I think she also came out some limited edition ones. So the color that I'm using on my lips is the third strip from the bottom. So this, it's like a true red. It's like a, almost a blood red. It's got a bit of blue to it. But it's not too much like uh, maybe the magenta has a lot of blue. But this one has a bit more, I don't know, just like a true red with a hint of blue. So it makes, it just makes your lips look so good. So I love it. The only complaint I have about it is that the strips are kind of tiny. So my fingers, they just fit just nicely. And I got to be quite careful. I kind of like just scrub like this, right? Kind of like gently push it and then get it onto my finger, then onto my lips. I'm not the most careful. So I do get it uh, outside of my lips here. Nothing a tissue cleanup would not uh, help and I think over time I'm going to get used to it. But some people like this. It's kind of like the bitten, the Korean bitten lip look, you know, like it's kind of messy. It's kind of like you've been kissing someone all day and it's just rubbed along the lip outer line. So it's nice. I'm, I'm not saying it's not nice but if you're like really want it to be sharp and precise, then better to go in with a lip liner. I don't have one. This is actually an eye brush, but it kind of works as well. I kind of like, you know, gently just put it at the side. But those are, I guess those are minor complaints. If you're used to using your fingers, put your lipstick, this is actually really good. It's so handy. I have two skincare favorites this month, and I know this is a favorite because I'm already thinking of getting the box of refills. This is the Sl Sublimage Le Brume from Chanel, it is basically a mist. I love it for so many reasons. I love turning it up. This is just maybe a design thing that I like. I like turning it up. I love the way it sprays. I love the size of it. It's so convenient to just, you know, hold and spray right after I wash my face or shower, I'll come out and I'm just like all over. It's light. It smells really, really pleasant. And I find that my skin enjoys it. It is almost like I'm putting, okay, not as good as my SK2, but it's still quite a hydrating uh, mist on my skin. So it's not just 
water on my face, I do find that it it kind of traps a little bit of the hydration when, especially after I wash my face. It's the whole design. Look at that. I'm about, so this is my, is this number three? I think this is my third, third tube already. So I do need to top up really soon. And they're kind of expensive. But yeah, I'm definitely, yeah, I'm definitely going to get another one. So I love, love, love this. This was actually a gift. And it, yeah, I enjoy it so much that, it's going to be a staple in my collection. The other thing that I knew that it was something that I could not live without already is that when I was packing for a like work trip, it's the first thing that I put into my skincare uh, container. And you know, when it is the first thing you put into your skincare bag, you know it's part of your core collection, right? Because you're like, okay, this needs to go in, that needs to go in. Now, the other thing that is also part of like the whole skincare, you know, aging skin routine is my current body face mask. I saw this, wow, a year ago, maybe two years ago, I, I can't recall right now, but on Michelle Wong, and I thought, wow, I want to get that red light therapy. So when they contacted me and sent me the first version, I was, I'll tell you, I was beyond pleased. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. Hyperside, it actually really, really works. So they have the version that is just a red light. And now they have this version. This is the four in one version. So it has four lights. I will link my video um, on the this reviews on this as well as the other one. So they have the red light and then you have the yellow light, the green light, which I'm obsessing over. And then the kind of like a combination. So you can see a bit of green, a bit of red, a little bit of yellow, or this red and then yellow. So I have been using this nearly every night, even though they did tell me, current body did tell me, it's kind of like more powerful. So don't go crazy using it every night. So I've been kind of like every night, you know, Monday, Tuesday, rest on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, rest on Saturday. <laughs> I've been really enjoying it. So what I do is I do two treatments. I'll do one treatment on the complete. So I'll just, you know, go all the red, green, and yellow. And then I'll, when it's finished in 10 minutes, then I will do one more treatment. So I'll pick, maybe I'll feel like my skin feels, you know, like it needs a bit more healing. Then I'll just do one more session on the red. Or I feel like, oh, I think, you know, it needs a little bit more glow because maybe I'm feeling like a, a little bit dull. Then I'll do the yellow light. Oh, I feel like, okay, I need to get those pigments because it's gone down so much. I am beyond happy with just this, you know, little bit. There is still, obviously, you know, because they are really, really deep. But I'm pleased. I'm pleased. If I can maintain this, I'm more than happy. Then the third light will be the green light because I'll just sit there for 10 more minutes. Like, come on, green light. <laughs> Work on those pigmentations. I had a question about the difference between this 4-in-1 mask and the original just a red light mask because the 4-in-1 mask is a little pricier. So I think the question was, which is better considering budget? My answer to that is that it really depends on what you're looking for. I find just red light is good enough for overall healing because red light encourages the production of your cells to regenerate. It also encourages your cells to heal. So if you're just looking for that and you're not looking for like targeted green light uh, per se, because green light is very specific to just your pigments, then I'd say just stick with the red light because the red light to me is kind of like the general overall just healing process. I felt it was healing my pigmentation as well, but maybe it would just do it up to a, like, a, like a certain point and then it just maintains, which I think is pretty good because red light, you use it for other things as well. You can use it for your hair, your joints. You can't use green light for your joints. So I feel like if you had to pick between the 4-in-1 and just the red light on its own, I think the red light on its own is a good investment if you don't want to pay extra for the other lights. So yeah, depends on your budget, depends on what you're looking for. I, I think both are great, just that you want to see exactly what you're um, targeting. Moving on to some other things before I jump into my luxury favorites, is that if you can see in the background, you can see some candles being lit up. I am obsessed with these candles. These are, well, the candles as well as the candle holder. So let me take something closer so you can see. A little dirty and it needs a little bit of clean, but look at how beautiful this candle holder is. This is from Diptyque. And 
Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. So I have three, there are three different designs uh, right now. I think over the years, there probably were more, but currently there are these three. There's this like, kind of like a swirly one that, you know, curves up. There's a black line. The one at the back is sort of, instead of curve, it's going straight down. And then I've got another one at the back, which is sort of like square, sort of like a checkered board. So, so pretty. They are kind of pricey and the only purpose they serve is to put your candles inside. I know, so bougie, but I just love sitting on my dining or just in the room and have it lit up at the back. It's just, I don't know, it just adds a little element. I have been just enjoying it. So it looks like this and it just covers it. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. I do need to clean this. So I'll do that since it's here. Along with that are these candles. So this is from a company called Lemonade. Um, I'll link it down below. Uh, she is a subscriber and she sent several of these to me already. I am so obsessed <laughs> with her candles. Two reasons. Firstly, they fit perfectly in my bougie candle holders. <laughs> and I don't need to buy diptyque candle candles. So I can just enjoy her candles. And her candles are really good quality. They are soy candles. And the best thing that I realized, because I'm going to have one fail candle right behind, oh, right here actually, is that her candle, the wick, every time I lit it up, it doesn't, you know when it's black, it doesn't go like, pia, pia, pia. you know, it sparks and then you get this blackish um, smoke coming out. It doesn't do that, which I guess I'll talk about this candle at the same time. So this is a um, semi-fail. So this is a really expensive candle. I thought I was like, okay, you know, I'm all, I'm into all these candles. So it goes in. It's perfect. It's very beautiful. This is a Dior candle um, and the smell is 30 Montaigne. It smells really nice. I, I, I have to admit, it's, the smell is, oh my gosh, it's so good. But what's the fail? Firstly, the fail is it's expensive. The second fail is the candle wick. So, you know, when you start to burn the candle and the candle wick is like really long and black, when I, if I do not trim the wick, right, I straight away just, you know, light it up. The black smoke that's coming out from the wick is terrible. It, that's what's making all this sud on top. This amount of black sud, which is practically nothing, comes from burning the lemonade candles. But when I forget to trim the wick of these Dior candles, the black sud, it's like it covers the entire top at the back. I was like, this is not healthy. This is just like black smoke, right? You know, <laughs> from a barbecue kind of thing. So, you know, the problem can be easily solved, just trim the wick. But I've never had this issue with any of the, these candles. These are soy-based candles um, from Lemonade, whereas these are not soy-based candles. These are actually uh, mineral candles, mineral wax, which, you know, there's a debate, soy, uh, mineral. So apparently these are not that healthy. So I honestly don't think I'll buy any more of these uh, Dior candles from sorry, these, 30, these candles from Dior, though they smell really pretty, this is a very nice container, the casing is, like, it's nice, you know, I'll just use this to put my brushes, but for the price and, you know, the fact that it's not that healthy or not that good compared to other types of candles, yeah, I don't like it, look at it, it's so dirty, look at the amount of sud that it creates not nice at all so yeah it's already dirty from its own its own doing so yeah it's kind of like a fail but i know i'm jumping the gun a little bit but this is a big favorite she has many 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 varieties of uh, scents my favorite is leather chair which is actually burning at the back right now i'm almost done you can see it it's it's like right at the bottom <laughs> Are you okay? Oh! Oh my god! Are you okay? Hey! What's up? You wanna go out? Are you looking at yourself? Are you looking at yourself? <laughs> Can you give me 10 minutes? 10 minutes! 
All right, 10 minutes. Thank you. I don't usually share clothing favorites, but I have been really obsessed with these tops. So these are Lululemon tops, like racerback tops. Um, it's kind of like short half tops. They have longer versions, but I've been enjoying this one. Let me stand up. It's short. It's like kind of like this in the back. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. Two reasons. One, they're so comfortable, so easy to wear. They look good with everything, shorts, funky looking shorts, jeans, skirts. And the biggest thing that I love about it is I don't have to wear a bra, okay? No, it comes with its own padding. I, if I can, I don't want to wear bras. I hate wearing bras. If I can, if I can get away with it, I don't want to wear it. So I have been wearing this so often. Every time I want to film, I'm just like, I'm going to grab one of these tops. So obsessed that I have four right now. So I have this um, kind of like a green, sea green color. This is a blue color. I've got one that's almost um, off gray and then a black. So there was pink color. There was white color. There were so many other colors that... I'm, I think I'm going to collect all of them and you just see me wear this for every single video moving forward. I will link it down below. They do have longer versions if you don't like this kind of like crop top. I like crop top because, you know, even if my belly pops out, I don't care. But it's just more, I don't know, it just feels like a sporty top. Now, the other clothing item that I'm obsessed with, also from Lululemon. And this is a bit of a, I guess, peer, peer sharing. One of my friends told me that Lululemon's underwears are so comfortable. The panties, like the three sets, I'll put a picture here. And oh my gosh, they are so comfortable. So kind of obsessed with it as well. So if you're looking to try out new panties, ladies, go and try out these Lululemon ones. I have like two packs, oh, maybe three packs right now. Moving on to some luxury favorites. I have two bags and kind of like a bag accessory to talk about. So the first bag that has been on constant rotation. So it will be absolutely unfair for me to say it's not a favorite but this bag has been on my every day or every time I go out kind of use so it is my mini Lindy in gold hardware with uh, it's Clemence leather and it comes with gold hardware and it's in color black so this has been the bag that I just grab and go and use so obviously it has to be a favorite right it's something that I've been rotating and I know I'm supposed to do a review about this, but we do have a luxury live show that I did share my kind of thoughts about this bag. So I'll link that down below. You can check it out. I had a conversation with Amy about the mini Lindy and whether what's the pros, what's the cons about this bag. So uh, I could do a video in the future about it, like the Lindy 26. One of my favorite features about this bag is the top opening. If you open it, you can see everything on the inside. It's kind of messy at the moment because I've got all my stuff. And it's just this really convenient way of accessing the bag. Best feature, whether it's the Mini Lindy, Lindy 26, Lindy 30, Lindy 30, those sizes up, it's this opening that makes it so convenient to reach in and grab your things and see your things as well. I love the little handles. It's kind of cute on this bag. It's not suitable for this bag because as you see, it's kind of stiff and oh, I've got a little bit of makeup here. Oops, <laughs> it's a little stiff, but on the bigger sizes, it's one of the best features. My only, like not the favorite thing is the longer strap. But you can watch the live or wait for my review coming up for this bag and we can talk about it a little bit more. But yes, definitely a very, very rotated bag at the moment. The other bag, which I'm kind of sitting on it, and well, it's such a workhorse. This is the Longchamp leather, I guess leather tote bag, Le Pliage leather version. It's kind of like the sporty one, it has a thicker strap. I have been using this just for work. For the past few months, it's my grab and go bag. I just kind of cleaned it up a little bit. It was really messy with all the receipts and papers. I just dump everything inside. I am using a, this is a Somorga organizer, but it's particularly it's for the softer nylon version of the Le Pliage line, but I kind of bought it for this and it works. It gives the bag a bit of shape and it helps me find my things a little better because the lining of this Longchamp bag is black. 
But yeah, I've been just loving it. It's so understated. Nobody bats an eye if it's a luxury bag or not. It just looks kind of like a black bag. So convenient. I have been using the handle as uh, the shoulder strap as well. Slightly thicker, but not too thick that it feels mm, not professional. It just gives me a hands a bit of you know freedom, and then I can just use and find things. So I've been just using this bag open as well because of the slouchy shape. It's still pretty safe, but if I'm going in a crowded place, I can easily zip it up, and it has that option. Now I think they discontinued this model. I am not sure. So if I can find it, I will link it down below. Or if I can find something similar, I'll also link it down below. They do discontinue their bags once in a while. I bought this from Farfetch. So hopefully Farfetch still has it. But I'll, if I can find it on the Longchamp website, I'll also uh, highlight it. But yeah, it's so great. Looking for a very affordable and really like a workhorse. This is in, made of lambskin. And for the amount that I have used and just tossed it, sat on it, it's actually in decent condition. Obviously, there is some wear, especially in the corners, a bit of rubbing, but nothing that I'm too alarmed about. Like if this was used for a few days and the wear and tear was just terrible, then obviously I would say this is not a good purchase. But I have been like just squishing the bag. The corner rub is really acceptable for the amount of work I've put onto this workhorse bag. So very, very much a favorite for uh, for this month. Another favorite is actually at the back. And can you see that? Can you see my Chanel 22? It's kind of lifted. The chain is on the top. So I'm going to bring it close so you can see what it is. The bag is of course a favorite, but it's not the bag. It's what's holding up the bag. It is a bag stand that can be adjusted right here. So you put the bag like this, I put the chains on the top and adjust it to a height that's, you know, it's not like it's stretching the bag too much, but at least it keeps the bag um, upright. So I think I could, yeah, you know, it's sort of like, you know, it's, it's not being pulled, it's still, see, it's resting but still lifting up the chain so that it's not resting on the back. I got this through a recommendation from Arissa Ha. She shared with me this little hack and this stand, I think you can get it on Amazon maybe if you're um, not familiar with Taobao, but if you're familiar with Taobao, I will link the Taobao site below and you can go and check it out. So good. So if you have the Chanel 22 and you have no flat space to store it because this bag needs to be stored in such a way that the chains don't rest on it. This is an alternative and it looks so good at the bag, like decorative, so absolute favorite. Some of you may have noticed, but I do have a new piece of jewelry and that's this necklace here. I have been wearing it for several videos already, but I did not do a reveal of it on my channel. I did share it with the members on our channel but not on the public life. And anyway, it's it's just a necklace, but I feel like I have the set now. So I have this necklace, I have the earrings, and I have the ring. And it's just one of my favorite patterns. So what I love about it is it's got a bit of weight to it, but it's not so heavy that it wears my neck down. And it layers so well. So the necklace that I've been layering it with is, well, I usually wear the Lina necklace a little higher, but today I felt like wearing it a little longer, kind of make it like a double necklace. But this Lina necklace is also kind of like a staple jewelry piece that I have right now. I just, oh gosh, I just love the way it looks. Even on its own, it's so gorgeous. The diamonds are so sparkly. I think I'm going to give it a clean tonight just to make it even more sparkly and ready for the new year. But yeah, I just wear it like this and it layers so well with so many things. I find like this pair, the Lina, because it's like diamonds, with one piece of uh, jewelry, like one gold jewelry, it looks, oh my gosh, it looks so good. <laughs> it looks so good. So I would wear either the Shandong a little higher like this or do it the other way around which is the where this is shorter and the Shandong's a uh, little longer. I feel like I've been wearing this combination at least this height combination for quite a while so I thought I'd just change it up and make it a little longer and with all the diamonds these are the Lucia earrings. I have the other one which is the Ono but I kind of like 
don't know, I just feel like I'm bringing this one back in for the past few videos. So yeah, this is like my jewelry set. Everywhere I go, I'm just kind of like blinged out with the diamonds and diamonds and gold. But yeah, this new necklace that I have, I got it a few months ago. I just been super enjoying it. And it's kind of a pretty difficult piece to get. I mean, they get it all the time. It's not a impossible item to get, but because it's so popular in the store, it's always out of stock. So when my essay had a piece, I was like, fine. I'll get it. <laughs> I have to end the favorites with something for my Nato girl and she is so freaking excited because the stuff that I'm gonna talk about are her snacks. <laughs> Let me show you. So they're right in front of me. Look at her. Look at her. Oh my goodness. She's excited. Look at it. Nato. Nato. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I probably have to give it. Oh, okay. 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 Hey, we go down first. Good office. So there are two new snacks that I bought for her and this is, it's just like, she eats so much better than me. She's sitting right there, she's so good. <laughs> so this is um, the brand Absolute Bites and they have so many varieties. They have like meats and beefs and you know, rabbit ears and all kinds of things. But the one that I have been really enjoying are these sardines and they are freeze-dried sardines, like one full sardine dried and they smell so good. Like if you know you understand Cantonese, ham, it's <laughs> going crazy. Nato, sit up, like ham yu. It smells like, wow, it smells so good. Okay, 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 okay. Sit, sit. Okay, so I'll just, a nip a little head for her and then good girl she loves them she just like absolutely goes crazy about it and you can see like the whole fish right with the the the, the organs and you know whatever so i've been absolutely enjoying uh feeding her the sardines and i use them like they're, they're like good treats so when i want her to learn a new trick like pick up her toys or pick up her leash those new tricks I will use these expensive or more like, you know, fancy, fancy, fancy treats. Okay, the other one is from this local brand here in Singapore. They, I believe they own their own seafood and food processing factory and they have their own fishery. So this is from the brand called Taki, Taki Pets. The owner has a Shiba named Taki and they started this business a few years ago. It is like bougie treats for your pet. So the ones that I have here are, look at this, it's a little container. This is like Chinese New Year setting. This is, okay, let me tell you, it's called the seafood platter. Okay, look at all that. It's got king salmon, halibut, snapper, Scottish salmon, barramundi, southern blue winthing, and shredfin. When I open this and I smell it, it smells like seafood. She, okay, I'll give you a little bit. Huh? Oh my gosh, she loves them. If you're looking to get your pet like super, super obedient and do every trick that you need them to do, they have Wagyu beef cubes. So this is the Shokuko Wagyu cubes. They're Wagyu beef, okay, Wagyu beef. There is another one which I'll show you. It's like little packets like this. Big slices of Wagyu beef. I have like a pack for her. But anyway, these Wagyu cubes, they look legit, okay? So when you can either hydrate them, like put a bit of water, it will look like meat. Or just give them raw, which, I, which is what I use. Not raw, like dry like this. She loves it. She's like sitting right here. Super, super obedient. Then, so you can buy them in packets like this. So this is actually convenient, like one pack. This one is not Wagyu. This is, oh, this is rabbit meat. <laughs> so anyway, I have been going a little nuts buying all these little treats for her. But of course, I do control it because I don't want her to get like too fat or too, you know, obese. So I use these treats, these more special treats for special times or when I want her to do new tricks. So I'm kind of like teaching her to pick up her leash right now. Uh, pick up her toys, bring them to me, uh, do little tricks like in the middle, things like that, just to just to keep her a little busy and then have some really nice treats. So yeah, those are my current favorites and definitely Nato's favorites for the past few months. I will link everything that I can find in the description section down below. You can easily go and use them to check it out. Otherwise, if you enjoyed today's video, I do hope you'll give it 
a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. Otherwise, everyone, please take care and stay safe. And if you are celebrating the Lunar New Year, Gong Hei Fa Choi and have a wonderful, wonderful celebration. Everyone, take care and I'll see you then. Bye.